now. Please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the Recurve Mixed Team Gold Medal Match. Y ahora en la bienvenida a los atletas que disputarán la medalla de oro en el arco recurvo viso al campo de combate. Time to go for gold again here in Medellín as we look forward to the Recurve Mixed Team Gold Medal Match between Korea and the USA. It's time to meet the contenders. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea. In the pack number one, representing the Republic of Korea, Im Chi Hoon. Kim Woo Ji. On target number two, representing the United States of America. Y en la vaca número dos, representando Estados Unidos de América, Jennifer Lucido Fernandez. <laughs> Brady Ellison. <laughs> the line judge for this matchup is El Juez del Partido. Klaus Ligonek. So Korea line up with Lim Seon and Kim Woo Jin. Lim Seon just in her second Hyundai Archery World Cup, having taken gold in the individual competition in Shanghai. She's taken gold in the women's team competition here already. Kim Woo Jin, well, he's got uh, bags and bags of medals. He also was part of a Korean team that took the gold medal in the men's competition, going for his second gold medal. An interesting lineup on the other side, Brady Ellison. Four golds in the mixed team competition, three different partners, and today he lines up with a fourth in Jennifer Machino Fernandez. But it's Lim Si-hyun who's going to get this one underway. Eight. Yeah, and I was going to say uh, Korea has a little bit of an advantage here in the sense that they are, uh, they have already been out on the field today, uh, both of them, um, but then. It seems like the circum uh, circumstances might have changed a little bit because yeah. Lim Sehyun just shoots a left eight out of nowhere. Um, Brady and uh, Jennifer, they, they haven't been on the field at all yet today. So uh, they will be shooting their first arrows on this finals venue now. Interesting to see the order of play with the USA as well, with Casey Calfold, who's won two mixed team gold medal stages. With she usually shoots first and last. But it looks like Allison is, well, he certainly shot the first arrow for the USA. No. And, and Jennifer has really lived up this, this competition. She has been to the uh, Olympics in, in Tokyo. Um, but has never really gotten that far in competition. And now uh, she's just been shooting really, really well, and, and especially in mixed team, getting to the gold medal match. There's a big chance here for the USA as well. That's another eight from Lim. No. So 35 set by Korea, a low score by their very high standards. It's actually the lowest score they have shot in this whole competition. So far, they've only shot 38s and 40s uh, leading up to this gold medal match. So this is the lowest score of the whole week for them. A nine from Brady means an eight for Jennifer will uh, be enough to get this set. A pressure one though. Oh, what a confident start from the 20-year-old. Teaming up with Ellison for the first time. And they've bagged the points and the set points in this first set against Korea. And, well, certainly in my opinion, the only way that you're going to give yourself a chance against Korea is to win the first set. Yeah, you need to get out of the gates fast. And, and this is exactly what they've uh, what they've done. So a really tight group, as you can see here. Um, 
just a little bit of uh, sight adjustment for Brady, and I think they're good to uh, keep shooting high scores like this, and they might have a very good chance against uh, a Korean team that has a little bit of a rocky start so far in this match. Better not write them off, though, right? No, it's very, very dangerous to write the Korean team off, but um, well, this is, like I said, the, the lowest score they have shot so far this uh, competition, um, which, like, it, it will have some of an, some of the effect on the USA team seeing them shoot not the best end ever. I wonder if um, they're, they're because one of the stories potentially today is that Lim uh, could get a hat trick of gold medals. She's done it in the women's team competition, and now there's a bit of pressure on this one. She shot two eights in that first set. Yeah, it, it, it for sure it seems that she's under pressure, but um, it would also be her first match loss ever uh, in the World Cup because so far everything that she has shot on the World Cup circuit has been a win. Start of the second Korea trailing the USA shoot first. Again, I feel like the rhythm of Wijin shots are just a tad bit off, but it, it's not seemingly affecting him that much. Brady Ellison, five-time Honda Archery World Cup Finals champion. Stolwell in the mixed team lineup for the USA. And he seems to be able to interchange his partners and still be very successful. Yeah, and, and Brady is in, on, a, on a bit of a quest himself for uh, uh, later on in the individuals as well. So I think the experience that he's gaining in this match uh, will also aid him later on today. Um, although I think he'll mainly be focusing on winning this match first and then looking at the individuals later. So a 38 set, normal order restored on the Korean side of the line. And he gets it. I feel this is, uh, we're seeing a little bit of 2019 Brady here where that was not the greatest shot. Uh, the, the release was not as crisp as he likes to have them, um, but he still manages to hit that low 10. And we've seen a lot of that in 2019 where all of his bad shots were still low 10s. It's well, drifted out to the eight though for a 37. Uh, although there was a measure on that third arrow, so provisionally a 36. But uh, I think that uh, Korea are going to have those points in this set and that will level things up. We have to wait for confirmation. But you saw Ellison there and why he's such a good uh, teammate in the mixed team competition. Forget about it, let's move on. We'll cut. We're, we're still in this one. Yeah, and that, that's that mental process that I talk about so much where uh, you need to stay objective and, and not put too much of a subjective rating on your arrows. Uh, it doesn't help to think this is a bad arrow. Uh, it helps to think this arrow didn't hit the middle because X happened. So uh, I think that's the, the right way to go about it. Um, just objectively looking at an arrow value and thinking that makes sense or that doesn't make sense, but uh, the next arrow is what matters. You can see the disappointment there on Jennifer Chino Fernandez's face. Number three, the Republic of Korea will be shooting first on target one. So two apiece, confirmed. Korea back in the match, dialed into the center, looking pretty ominous now. I 
feel like the deciding factor in this match so far is if Lim is hitting the middle or not. Uh, and she is in this instance. Uh, I, I feel like um, she has opened a couple gaps that the USA uh, was maybe able to pick up on. But I think if she keeps shooting like this, Kim Woo Jin is very unlikely to make any big mistakes in, in a match like this. Normally I'd say famous last words, but when it comes to Kim Woo Jin, I think you're spot on. As an, an archery nerd, uh, to, to give myself that title, um, for the King people of the archery nerds. <laughs> who, who wanna look at something really, really impressive no. after this stream, uh, in the break between uh, this stream and the next one uh, later today. Uh, you can look up the um, Kim Woo Jin matches of the World Cup final last year in uh, Tlaxcala in Mexico because those were very, very impressive. Yep. Yes. Yes. It's a, diff a difficult one to call. Uh, I think there's an asterisk there for the reason, but I would have to agree with the stadium announcer here, but difficult one. Yeah, the angle perhaps coming in from the top is not the best for us to see it. No, really. So provisional 38 that could go up to a 39. Two tens to guarantee at least one point required from the USA. No. Yeah, there was a bit of a delay there in the, in the release. You could hear the clicker go. There was a bit of a moment before he actually released the arrow, which we have seen from, from Brady before, but it's typically not his best shot. Chino Fernandez needs a 10 here, and for the measure to go the USA's way, nine. that's a nine for a 37 so the measure uh, only important for the record books uh, Korea have taken the third set having leveled things up in the second and now things looking well very good if you're, if a, if you're a supporter of Korea and pretty tricky if you're a supporter of the USA yeah it seems like Korea has really found their uh, their footing their, their foundation and, and they're just shooting really well now um, it's, it's not that the USA is not shooting well because they've shot like a really good group. Uh, it's just a little bit on the left and the, the three nines are too much to get the set points against a very strong Korea. We well, talked about this um, being sort of lying in the hands of Lim si -hyun. She was uh, very good in that set. Uh, you saw Brady there just asking the coach where that went. Yeah, it's important not only to uh, to know what the arrow value is, but also where the arrow hits, because uh, you can adjust accordingly then. Um, if the arrow was shot really well and it's hitting to the left and it's consist consistently hitting to the left, you can adjust your sight or you can adjust your aim. Um, if it's going left to right and then up and down, there's not much you can do but shoot better arrows. So 4-2 to this Korean pairing of Kim Woo-jin and Lim Sishun. Brady Ellison and Jennifer Machino Fernandez will shoot first in the fourth set and it's a must win. All Korea have to do is match the USA to take a third gold out of three in this team session. That was a better shot. You could you could almost hear it in the rhythm of the, the clicker and the release and also the sound that his bow makes when he releases. So if he has a bit of an outwards release and a bit more tension on his fingers, the bow makes a bit of a sharper sound as well. Um, but like before mentioned, I think that's mostly up to the archery nerds to, <laughs> to pay attention to that stuff. I'm getting there. I, I actually felt that as well. It looked and sounded like a great shot. 
and uh, two tens is exactly what the USA need to do. Put a bit of pressure on, and there's a nine from Lim. I mean, how good would it be to end this session in a shoot-off? Well, we know you love a shoot-off, don't we all? This would be a cracking result for the USA if they were to push Korea to that shoot-off. And they've got a very good chance of doing that now. Yeah. Two nines from Korea in the first rotation. And two very unfortunate nines, I would say. They're, they're very close to the tendering, but that's exactly what the USA needs to happen right now. So Brady there putting Jennifer in a position where just shooting an arrow in the gold would be enough to force the shoot off. Nine is enough for the USA to push this one all the way with Korea. Nine it is, and we are going to have a shoot off here. 39 is not a gettable target, but here, the rehearsal for the shoot off. Yeah, th these two arrows, uh, they should probably just shoot them as well as they can and uh, see what the wind does to them rather than trying to hit the exact middle because uh, you can gather a lot of information from just aiming at the middle and shooting your arrow and seeing how much that does to the flight of the arrow in the case of wind. So 37 set by Korea. Uh, but uh, 39 for the USA, four apiece, and the USA team have pushed the Koreans all the way. And uh, regulations, the, after the regulation set, all square means the target faces will be cleaned. They'll put new target faces up 70 meters down the range, and we'll have a, a mini set, a half set. Yeah, basically we're going to shoot one rotation, um, highest score wins, and in the case of a tight score, uh, they look at which arrow of which team is closest to the center. So, um, in for instance, they shoot a 10 and a 9, both of them, the closest 10 to the center will win the match. Confirmation then that the scores in the match are tied at four apiece, and that we will be having a shoot-off. Well, that's the last arrow from uh, Brady Ellison. Didn't quite have the ring of the 10 that he shot for the first one, but it still went into the 10. And Machino booked the shoot off by shooting a nine, and she very professionally checks with the coach where that's gone. And it, even though the set convincingly went to the USA team rather than the Korean team, their nines were very close to the 10. So it's not necessarily uh, a given that the USA will be closer to center, closest to center here. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because Korea have been a bit up and down in the match. Um, they, they, they started uh, a little low by their very high standards. They then reached a peak and come back down again. They need to get that performance trajectory going back up again. And there's no doubt that they can do it. A 39 in the set from the USA, the last set was their best score by a long way, and it has forced it. Ellison there trying to stay nice and loose and nice and relaxed for this shoot off. Yeah, I think you can say that uh, Brady Ellison has been on so many finals venues that he's grown some sort of callous against the nervousness uh, and you could say the same about Kim Wee Jin. I think uh, they're very similar in terms of experience. Well, very similar in terms of experience are uh, Lim and Machino Fernandez as well in terms of being at this pressure range. Korea to shoot first in the shoot off. The door is wide open for the USA. You would have wanted a 10. Yeah, if, if Kim Woo Jin manages to shoot a really good 10 here, um, or a 10 in any case. Um, Jennifer will have to shoot at least a nine. But it's a nine for a 17 here. 
and a nine, as you can see, is enough for Machino. Far from easy. A massive shot here, the biggest of her career so far. And it is a nine, and the USA have spoilt the Korean party here in the team events. They have clinched the recurve mixed team gold medal. Korea, having taken the other two team medals so far, were on for a hat trick of team medals, but the USA, they had to dig deep. It went to a shoot-off, and they've won it with two nines.